you. Thank yeah, you very much you, for getting back to me. Um, right. Um, oh, which which congregation in London are you, if I could we're ask? We're London, London Stones, we're called. So we're in, we're in Stones congregation. Stones, yes. Okay, thank Stains. you. Stones. Pardon? Stains. 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 Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, lesson seven puzzles me. What yeah. is Jehovah like? Yeah. Um, it says God is a spirit, John 4.24. This is paragraph one. God is a spirit, John 4.24. Jehovah does not have a physical body. He is a spirit who lives in heaven, a place that we cannot see. So I get it. Um, Jehovah is a spirit. It seems, you know, you look up the Bible verse, it's fairly fairly obvious. That's exactly yeah, what yeah. the Bible verse says. Yeah. Um, when I went to the New World Translation... Uh, 2 Corinthians 3, uh, 18. Let me just get, I'll just get that in two seconds. 2 yep. Corinthians 18. Oh, 2 Corinthians what? 2 Corinthians 3. Three, okay, yeah, yeah gotcha. really 17 and verse 18. It talks yeah. about the spirit of Jehovah in verse mm. 17, obvious reference to the Holy Spirit. Yeah, of course. And the Holy Spirit then in verse 18 is called Jehovah the Spirit. Yeah. So what I would really ask you, if Jehovah is a spirit and if the Holy Spirit is Jehovah the Spirit, are they two separate spirits or are they the same spirit or, or what? Well, if, the, if you go to, when you look at the, the scriptures, um, you, you see that there is, Jehovah uses his, it's called Holy Spirit. It's, it's like an, we call it like an active force. So he uses a, 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 an active force uh, to, um, uh, to create things, uh, to move things, and, uh, and like, a, like a power that he, he uses within himself. Um, Luke one thirty five calls the Holy Spirit the power of God. I don't believe the Holy Spirit is ever referred to anywhere in Scripture in the Greek or Hebrew as an active force. Yeah. And no Bible translated by a scholar with a PhD in Greek or Hebrew ever translates ruach or pneuma as as active force. M- my question is concerning. Well, pneuma. Your... If you think you look at the Greek, sorry, just just cut you off. Just pneuma, just for a minute, is. Is Greek for wind or or, or air, or and so he, it's likened to, uh, if you remember in in Pentecost 33 CE, uh, like a spirit came upon the, the 120, like a rushing breeze. It says, so it's like a God's spirit can be likened to a force. The the it doesn't say the, that. The inference, no, it can be it can be used as like a force that you can't see, obviously. Uh, but it's like uh, well, when when Jesus was uh, was baptized, mm-hmm. for argument's sake, uh, the Holy Spirit came upon him, and it likened it to like a uh, like a waves, if you like, coming down from heaven. So it's like a it's sorry, a, like a, waves coming down from heaven. Yeah, like a like a, a force coming down from heaven. Where, where's Just, the, where's that? I don't read. Um, I think you're referring to Matthew 3.17. It doesn't say like a force from heaven. Mm. Uh, the text doesn't doesn't say that. I mean, to my to my knowledge, if I'm wrong, I, I stand corrected. Um, you, you know, if if you can show me a scholar, any Bible. I I, can you just tell me what what I don't quite get your angle? <laughs> what, right. What, what, what are you asking? Right. I asked a question. Yeah. Your book, lesson lesson seven, paragraph one, says God is a spirit. Jehovah does not have a physical body. He is a spirit who lives in heaven, a place we cannot see. Yeah. I get it. Jehovah, or the Father, you mean the Father here, is a spirit. I get it. Yeah, Jesus is Jesus is Father, yeah. In your Bible, 2 Corinthians 3.18, clearly referring to the Holy Spirit, refers uh-huh. to the Holy Spirit as Jehovah the Spirit. So my question is very simple. Are they the same spirit or are they two separate spirits? I'm not asking anything else. I'm not asking about active force or power. Mm. That's my well, that's my question, sir. Well, Jehovah God is Jehovah God is a spirit force. There's no two ways about that. We, we everyone knows that you can't see him. Uh, he's a spirit force. 
but the Bible does talk about God having an, an active force, uh, like it, a, a spirit it, it that he uses. Excuse me, sir. Show me, please give me scripture that says that, that, that backs up what you're saying, because I think you're just making stuff well, up. Look at verse, there's there's well, no look at verse, verse... Look there's, at verse 16, for argument's sake, of the scripture you just mentioned, Matthew chapter 3. After being baptised, Jesus immediately came up from the water, and look, the heavens opened up and saw God's Spirit descending like a dove and coming upon him. It doesn't say force or active force, which is well, what you've you, just said. You can call it what you like. You can call it what you like. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a force that's coming down uh, from God onto Jesus. Whatever, however you want to picture that. Um, my, my question is, if the Father or Jehovah is a spirit, and if the Holy Spirit is called the Spirit of Jehovah, for the third time, my question is, are they the same spirit or are they two different separate spirits? I'm not asking no, any, please, I'm not asking any other question. Just well, that two question. They're two different spirits, aren't they? So the Holy Spirit is a different spirit to the Father. Yeah, it's something that, that God uses, Jehovah uses. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not asking that. I know, uh, yeah, you don't need to tell me that. I know... It's, I don't, I honestly don't, you, you seem to know everything that I'm talking about, your own view. Why are you phoning me up to tell me what we, what we sort of believe and you, what you, I don't get your angle, sorry, <laughs> excuse me for my ignorance, yeah. I just don't No, get, no, you're, you're not ignorant, up for an sir. Argument or something like that? No, you're not ignorant, sir. Um, it's just that your book, it says things, but it doesn't give the complete picture. It's like a jigsaw puzzle with half the pieces missing. I've gone on to jw.org, I've looked at the insight in the scriptures, and you'll find more parts of the jigsaw puzzle there, but there's still three there's still a quarter of the jigsaw puzzle missing. There's things we that they... We don't could I finish my that, sentence? We... Could I finish my sentence? There are things they need to, to answer and explain, which they don't even attempt to do. If John, John 15, 26, if I might please read it, this is the New King James Version. But when the Helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. It says very clearly that the Spirit of Truth, a reference to the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. proceeds from the Father. A -a Agreed? Yeah. Exactly. That's, what we, that's what I, exactly what I said to you. It comes from uh, Jehovah God. The Spirit comes from Jehovah God, sent by him. But you also said the Holy Spirit is a separate spirit to the Father. They're two separate spirits, you said. Yeah. In, in fact, it, 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 what I'm trying to help you appreciate is, for, if, you, if you, let me read this, this verse here, where, where it says, after being baptised... No, uh, no, 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 stop. Firstly, go slowly for me. Mm, and secondly, okay, so, give so, me the Bible reference and let me turn to it before you read it, please. Okay, Matthew chapter 3, verse 16, then. Yep. Uh, Matthew three, I'm there. Which is a, which is the scripture that you, you you quoted to me? Yeah. After being baptized, it said Jesus immediately came up from the water, and look, the heavens were opened up, and he saw not God, he saw God's Spirit descending like a dove coming upon him. Verse seventeen. Look, also a voice from the heavens. So this is different from the the Spirit that's just descending. A voice from the heavens said, "This is my Son." obviously Jehovah God, this is my son, the beloved, whom I have approved. Mm -hmm. So we, we view, uh, we appreciate as well, just so you, so you know, I don't, we don't really like arguing or, or uh, whatever on the phone. We appreciate people who've got different views on, on the scriptures. Of course, that, that happened in Jesus' time, how they viewed the, the Bible. But we view that, that Jehovah God in the heavens here has sent his spirit his spirit down uh, to Jesus, like a dove uh, coming upon him. He uses his spirit like an active force, if you like, coming upon him. And, and that's how we view it. And that's what the scriptures are saying. Well, I agree that the Father sends the Holy Spirit who, mm. who alights upon Jesus. Mm, that's, yeah. not, that's not my question. No. My question is, if the, if the Father is one spirit, and if the Holy Spirit is another separate spirit... How do you explain that when the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father in John fifteen twenty six? How it's not logically possible, surely, for the Holy Spirit to be a separate spirit, separate to the Father, 
when the Holy Spirit proceeds from the Father. You can't okay. proceed from Please. someone. Could I just finish? You, you, yeah, can't, you can't proceed from someone, surely, and yet be separate to him. Well, you can if, if if Jehovah has if Jehovah has a force. I mean, if if you could turn to Genesis chapter one verse two for argument's sake. Um, it doesn't read force there. Um, the word the word for spirit of God there is ruach, and every yeah. scholar with a PhD in Hebrew has translated that as spirit. No, oh. no Bible translation translated by a, a biblical scholar has ever translated that as active force i know you, well, we, we have <laughs> yeah because you don't have any greek or hebrew scholars working on the new well, course translation we, of course we do of course we do name them what well, have we got a translation committee that, that looks at all that if you look at if you look at translation of the new world translation bible you'll see that the, the amount of references that we go to it's incredible. I mean, no, don't forget that the King James Version that you're in is about 400 years old. No, um, no, no, you don't pay attention. Uh, you speak uh, so no, quickly, no, you don't listen. I did not read from the King I did not read from the King James Version. I told yeah. you it was the new King James. You speak yeah. so quickly with everything being yeah. a many sermon that you, you're not trained to listen to the other person. Well, and you make sadly, multiple I was, points. Uh, sadly, I was speaking. And you, you cut me off, so it sounds a bit strange you saying I'm not trying to listen when you don't seem to listen yourself. Anyway, I'll tell you what I do. I've had enough, really, because I think you phoned up for an argument, and I don't like arguing. So thanks for your call.